In this video, we'll explore the analysis tools on the mold toolbox. Let's start with the draft analysis. If you remember from the slide itself, the draft uh, angle is a, is a slant that is applied to the each side of most features. So in the injected molding, and this is done for e easier of ejection of the mold from the system and of course manufacture uh, this is a crucial part of the manufacturing standard to maintain the standard quality and if you remember we didn't add any draft angle in this uh, in this design so if we look into this extrude go to the edit features you will see we haven't activated this draft okay so let's see what uh, the analysis tool says for this design so if you go to the uh, mold toolbox, click the draft analysis. Then it, the first thing it asks is direction of pull. Direction of pull is in which direction you're pulling the mold itself. If you remember, we created the whole thing on the front plane and we want to pull it from this side till on upside. So we're going to select the front plane in this case. Okay and let's say we can adjust this draft angle to let's say i don't know uh, one degree maybe okay now these colors represent the draft angles so the green means positive draft the red means negative draft and the yellow means it the whole thing requires a draft uh, draft and as you can see it is highlighting most of the pieces here and suggesting hey we need to adjust a uh, draft angle for this portion so we need to fix it so what we're going to do is go into the original design which is the box extrude here and go to the edit feature so when we were extracting this we're going to turn on the draft angle and set it to one degree okay so see you can do it outward or inward in both direction okay uh, depending on in which side you're uh, trying to pull it out okay uh, for this one we are going to set up as uh, inward click ok the design will manifest again and once that's done let's go into the draft analysis again we have to set up the parameter I select the front plane again and as you can see most of the parts here has changed to uh, green so that means uh, this is a positive draft and the bottom part is a negative draft now if you no uh, notice carefully uh, this portions here in the between now it needs some draft angle because right now it is zero draft we won't be adding any slants in this case for that these ones we will be using some core techniques which we'll explore on later videos okay once this is done um, you can click ok and exit and the, this analysis will remain here next on the list we have uh, the undercut analysis okay so what is the undercut analysis undercut analysis are those pieces or portion that might hinder us from ejecting our product from the mold itself in this case if we look at carefully on this portions here right these are quite inside uh, this cut for this cuts we need to create additional core supports otherwise it will be hard to pull the whole design out of uh, the molds itself so if you look uh, if you go to the undercut analysis it's, um, let's select the front plane again you will see uh, it has identified that there are 48 occluded underpart and this number is huge and uh, they're in, in direction two there are five and in direction one there are six 
So these are identified by using the color and no undercut is 124. So as you can see, mostly they are trapped in this region. So these are the portions that will hinder us from pulling uh, this whole thing up from our mold design. And it is kind of critical for this. And other than that, most of these portions or things looks pretty clear. So what our next steps gonna be is to fix this portion before creating the mold. Next, we have the parting line analysis. Parting line uh, help us uh, to investigate or set up how the mold will be divided and in which portion or which section we wanna cut this, uh, cut the molds. For example, let's say if we have the parting line around here, the mold will be designed in a way so that uh, the cavity contains the upper portion and the thrust portion po is on the bottom part. We can also uh, change the orientation in a way so that let's say this is the division line. So we're we're gonna mold part of it on this from on the left side and part of it on the right side. But for this design, it is uh, it will be ideal to use this front plane so that it is dividing in it into two portions uh, where the cavity will contain the most of the design. So if you click on the parting line analysis, select the same on the direction of the pool, click OK. Nothing will happen because it is thinking, okay, this is this is doing good. Uh, when we start working with the parting line tool, original parting line tool, you will see it is creating that part. Okay. Uh, next, uh, when we are using the mold tool, uh, one thing that happens is the material, depending on which material you're using, a plastic maybe or a metal, the metal shrinks when it cools down. So when we are designing, it has to have some allowance to, to consider the shrinkage of the material. So one thing we do is select the scale and select the object itself completely and use it a scale of 1.1. It can be scaled around centroid origin or any particular coordinate system, but mostly people use the centroid itself. Once done, if you click OK, the size will increase a little around in a scale of 1.1, but this shrinkage or scaling up amount is desi uh, designed or defined based on what material you are using. 